one of the scenarios I see on occasion is because people are now quite used to backing up their computers and it really has sunk in that yeah you do need to back your computer up um, a lot of people who use external hard drives that you can buy anywhere and usually they buy it they plug it into their computer they and they follow the instructions and when it gets to the um, part where it goes what kind of backup do you want a lot of people go <laughs> back up everything makes sense doesn't it um, you don't want to miss anything anyway one scenario I saw a while ago and I think it's the second time I've seen it so it's worth putting a video together uh, is they backed up their computer quite regularly then they switched to a newer computer their old machine was Windows 10 the new machine was Windows 11 and they dutifully put the software on the new machine when they plugged in the drive the old the drive that had the old backup and I think you know where this is going uh, and they restored the entire backup file let's see what happened I've essentially got what uh, their new machine would be configured like again it's not brand specific as far as the backup software but I, uh, the, more of, this is more of a cautionary tale so in this case we've got a Cronus um, a Cronus true image backup which comes with many external hard drives so I'm going to pretend to be an average user I'm not technically inclined I am just going to follow the prompts and I will see what kind of trouble I get into and yes I do know I'm going to get in trouble but the point of all this is that you should never go on autopilot you should never just click 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 when you get some new software or a new app please read the instructions and if you don't understand something especially when you're doing this don't guess all right so here's where we're at my old computer has been put in the closet and I've got my brand new computer right out of the store and I've plugged in my old backup drive and it's picked it up and I'm going to try to figure out what to do next I've got all my pictures and documents backed up and I want them on my new computer so I'm going to just see what I would think I guess I would go to recovery and there's my old I know that's my backup file because it looks familiar and I'm gonna click that and do I need to do anything else I don't know oh no hang on I think I made a goof because it's his backup I want recovery there we go all right again this is not about this particular software just about knowing what you're doing and let's see hopefully the program will stop me from recovering uh, the old files because it's got 
the entire old Windows 10 operating system, but let's go for it. Oh my, I think it's actually doing it. All right. I will do a restart. something and this is what I was afraid of the software has actually tried to recover <laughs> the old operating system and we are basically at this point not only are we dead in the water um, the software I, uh, I'll be back in a moment but I will get some other software that will allow us to look at the hard drive. But I believe what has happened is not only has the hard drive been erased, what's called the partitions uh, might have been destroyed. And that means that you cannot recover from the hidden copy of Windows 11 on the hard drive or SSD because it too has been wiped out. So <laughs> I'll be right back and we'll take a look. Okay, everybody, I'm back after a little investigation and what the bat, what the restore process did before it aborted was it pretty much replaced all the critical files to it, it, it shouldn't have even tried, it should have stopped, but it's as though it started to do it and then went, Oh, something is wrong, uh, it doesn't look right. And then it stopped, but not before overwriting um, a bunch of, well, basically overwriting the drive and putting some of the original material back. Uh, but it totally trashed um, the Windows install, the Windows 11 uh, folder. So, what I did was I used a long-established tool called Hiren's Boot CD uh, Pre-Environment uh, Windows. It's a very cut-down version of Windows that can run in RAM, and it also has a gazillion tools. But and we can look at it here and it is literally running in RAM and we can look at the drive hang on let me get up here okay there it is now because uh, Hiren's boot CD runs in RAM. It is the C drive. So 
uh, the original drive uh, gets relabeled as X. And as you can see, there's not much there. There are the beginnings of folders. There's the external drive we were restoring Windows 10 from. And there is the um, what's left of the Windows original drive that had Windows 11 on it. And if you go in here, you see bits and pieces of things. Um, so what it did was it started to copy things and then it went oh no but by then it was too late um, and if we go into any of these folders we don't get much <laughs> and it's pretty empty now I don't know why a program would do that and this text file here I put on the drive um, because I wanted to make sure that we were actually dealing with the hard drive that got overridden and not uh, something from Hiren's boot CD because if I had accidentally got the, my drives mixed up and I wanted to make sure I was dealing with the physical drive so I put a simple text file on the drive and then I rebooted and if it were virtual it wouldn't have existed wouldn't have survived but it did and if we go even farther there correction I'm about to say that the Windows 11 machine has a 100 gigabyte drive. It is only a single gigabyte drive because it is simulated. If I go to DIR. Uh, <laughs> we see that um, of the 100, it's slightly under uh, 100 gigabytes that the Windows 11 drive was on the virtual machine. We see that most of it <laughs> is free. So what it did was it erased the drive um, and then it went, oh no, but by then it was too late. So, and the problem is normally, um, uh, normally uh, there's a hidden partition where Windows can reinstall itself from well the partitions are destroyed <laughs> so uh, the person with a brand new computer would have to re-download uh, Windows and again they'd have to find somebody to do it for them because their computer is not functional um, and they should be able to bring it back without any, any problem because as I understand it now Windows sort of looks at the hardware and if the hardware isn't changed it goes okay you can go for uh, the same version of Windows you had before you destroyed it. Uh, still though, <coughs> it means that for the average person, um, they couldn't get their old material back. Now I haven't investigated, then there might be a way to get the material back, but again you need someone who knows the Acronis backup program. And again, I am not critiquing Acronis. Um, this could happen with any backup program if you don't understand 
what is going on when you back up your material. With Acronis, I've seen there's, you can do a full backup like we did, or you can do an incremental backup. Now it's possible doing an incremental backup that you could say, just restore my <coughs> documents folder. Now that might still screw things up a bit, but it wouldn't kill it outright. Uh, but what a nasty way to find out. So the moral of our little adventure uh, is if you get a backup external drive, learn the software that is on it uh, or get someone to explain it to you so that you know if you go to a new computer what this software can and cannot do for you just don't cross your fingers and hope for the best because <laughs> you might get the worst um, all right, everyone, I'm going to put this thing together. And as usual, I will post an article on the blog, notes in the left margin.com. Uh, that's notes in the left margin.com. I don't know why I sang it there. And my name is Patrick Clark. And so the video will be with the article on the website and also available via YouTube. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.